going on YouTube and welcome back to our Artemis Let's Play. If you haven't already, definitely go check out the other episodes in this series and catch up what we're doing around the story. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button. It really, really help me out and I really appreciate it. All right, so if you haven't seen the last episode yet, uh, we just finished the sorority challenge rush thing they were doing. So we are now an honorary member of the sorority. So where we left off here is we're free to explore. So let's get on with that. So we're in the first room here. Let's see what we can do. Typical June. I remember her old place was similar. Everything just scattered around. All right, so that's that. What else we got over here? Damn, if only the mirror was a bit lower. You could see yourself banging. Makes me think of June's old place with that body mirror right across the bed. Pretty sure she put it there on purpose. Not that I'm complaining. Do it again. Oh, same thing. I don't know why it was let me click on it twice then. Uh, is there anything else? Okay, oh, okay. Master Lounge, got Paige's room, Katie's room. Four floors! Oh my god, in the basement. Wow. Oh, I didn't know that button was even there. That's cool. All right, so with those two done, let's see. I don't see anything else. So let's move on to the next room. Uh, master Lounge. Hello? Should I go in? Uh, go. It's just a lounge. Oh, well. So let's see. We got all the rooms here. Uh, nothing I can really click on here, it looks like. So let's go down to Paige's room. Should I go in? Sure. Figures. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, how about Katie's room? <clears throat> New to the aside. Uh, let's see. So we're in Katie's room. Uh, let's see. Where can we click other than hers? So we got a window. Uh, oh, got some pictures over there. Let's do those first. You took these? Huh, I wish. I have a twin sister, Scarlett. She's going to a university in another state studying uh, photojournalism. Wow, to Katie's? Watch out, world. Hehe, <laughs> silly. She'd correct you, though. It's two Scarlets. By three flippin' minutes. Ha, <laughs> sibling rivalry. I wish I could experience that. Ha <laughs> No, you don't. That's her, right there. Oh, wow. There are two Katie's. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's check out the window here, or door. Breathtaking. Yeah. I'm lucky to be in the sorority, let alone the veeps. So while I'm helping manage everything, it's nice to just take a break here and unwind. Oh, let me know if you ever need help with that. I will, thanks. Okay, and then let's keep going. Just her. <clears throat> hey you, what are you reading? Some erotic VNs. VN? Stop being silly. I know you read them too. Uh, alright. Maybe I've read a few. <gasps> naughty boy. Oh my god. Speaking of naughty, stinking Jen almost broke you. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for keeping that thing from going kablooey. Yeah. I was really trying. I'm glad I didn't let you girls down. Still, uh, I'll admit she almost did it. Well, she didn't, and that's all that matters. You're one of us now. Sorry, had to get that off my chest. Anywho, what's up? Uh, where's Paige? Hey, have you seen Paige? Oh, yeah, she wanted to talk to you before you leave. Um, she most likely having a nightcap in the basement. Where, you know, we tortured you. Hehe. <laughs> Sweet, thanks. Sure. Uh, free time. What does Katie enjoy doing with her free time? Oh, I love visiting the art museum. Hmm, it's a bit chilly now, but going to our beach is also super relaxing. The carnival is in a few weeks, too. I hope I'll get to go. Why do you say it like that? 
Uh, school and work have been a bit much lately. Plus, the others think it's lame. Uh, I'll go with you. Hey, if I happen to be free, I'll go with you. Yay! Here's hoping. I just want to go in the Ferris wheel, really. Maybe win a prize or two. But it's all about the Ferris wheel. Bye. See you around, Katie. Bye. All right, so we're done with her. Uh, four, three. What do we got? Naomi's room, Jacuzzi, Zoe's room, and Zelda's room. Well, let's go to Naomi's room, see if she's up. Who is it? <clears throat> Me, Aiden. Come in. <clears throat> oh, hello. Whoa. Is Paige just letting those boys join her ranks now? Alright, fuck this. No one challenges my masculinity but me. We doing this? I'm a little rusty, but fuck you ever doing this. Alright then. By the way, what kind of stance is that? It's the I'm a clap them cheek style. This is gonna be interesting. Here she comes. Defense. Is this easy mode? <laughs> Shit Tucker, huh? Naomi, by the way. The fuck you call me? That's my fucking name, dipshit. Oh, call me Aiden Jones. Perfect. I'll let the coroner know. The attack doesn't feel right. Offense. Oh, like a fucking textbook. Now for the Jones Bomb special. The fuck, man? And there it is. There it is. <laughs> Power bomb. <laughs> Straight from hell. This guy is way too confident. Yeah, get some. <laughs> Not bad, Jones. You're a cocky fucking asshole, but I am too. <laughs> You're a lot of fun. Right back at you. You're you good? One last round? Yeah. She's waiting for me to make a move. I can feign an attack and catch her off guard, Oop. defending whatever she's got planned. Or just give it all I've got for a final attack. She's a tough one. And obviously enjoying the hell out of this. I am too. Let's do the fame. <gasps> oh, you're good, Naomi. But I... Ah! Oh my god. Deep press, Naomi. Here you go. Deep press. <gasps> uh. <laughs> Whoa. <coughs> uh. <laughs> that was fucking wild. Nice work, Jones. Let's do it again sometime. Nice. So let's see what we got. She's just like his mother. Is this you? That's a paper target. <laughs> yes, Jones, that's mine. Nice grouping. Thanks. That's from my that's from when my uncle took me shooting for the first time. I was 13. Nice. I bet you're a sharpshooter now. I try. Search it though. It's pretty. That's pretty good. Table. So we got a gun. Is this yours? Yep. May I? Knock yourself out. Mag and chamber are empty. Bird at 92. An overall nice gun. Has a bite to it if you're unfamiliar with them. You shoot? Not as much anymore. But it was a favorite pastime of me and my mom. Was she police? Military. Nice. She must have had quite the collection. Thanks, she did. It's been ten years, and not a day goes by that I don't think about her. That's good that he haven't forgotten. My uncle got me into them. He taught me how to use and respect them. Was he a detective? Yeah, I practi practically grew up at the precinct. Until he was KIA. I didn't want another cop for a while. Eventually, I got back into it, though. I have good memories of him. I don't want to forget them. What you mean? Let's have the shooting range sometime. We'll think about it. Uh, let's see. Naomi, intern. Hey, Naomi, how long have you been an intern at the CPPD? Too long. It's not an answer. I know. Well, I know I won't be calling if I ever get in grave danger. Good. I think that's it. Let's go back. Um, so let's move on. 
Like I could talk to her, I guess. What's so interesting out there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Crazy day, I take it. Other than witnessing a guy willingly blew by himself for a group of girls who I can assume you aren't putting out? Yes, actually. I mean, one of you definitely did. Katie isn't a whore, despite her personality. She's no different from a guy who wants to fuck a girl he thinks is hot. That said, she doesn't count. It wasn't Katie. What? Who? Gentlemen, don't kiss and tell. Spill it! Katie and Zoe both went to greet you. Only Katie came back. Anyways... Just a long fucking week, dealing with the shitbags at the precinct. The world is full of fucked up people. What do they have to do in there, exactly? A lot of everything. The ride-alongs is where you see it, though. See what? Nothing. Just know the world is full of fucked up people. Are you sure? Yeah, it's pretty messed up. My mom was a military officer. She told me a lot of crazy things she had to deal with. My bitch ass definitely wouldn't have had the mental aptitude for that. But I'm glad we have people like you who do. Thanks, Naomi. Alright, get on your good side. Let's move on. Uh, jacuzzi, Zoe's room, and Zelda. Let's do Jacuzzi first. About to do editing, let's do it now. What? Oh, sorry, it's just me. Aiden? Get your ass in here. Zoe, no! Eden, it's occupied. Okay, well, I had to skip over that room, because that was all kinds of nudity. So, we're on to the next one. Hello? Should I go in? Uh, let's try. Figures, oh well. Okay, so she's not back yet. So let's try Zelda's room. Uh, in the last room with Naomi there, uh, Zelda did forget. She was in there as well. She did forget her piercing. Yes. Zelda, it's me. Come in. Are you okay? Yes, the bathroom helped me a little with the fall. I'm sorry for made you uncomfortable. It's fine. Zoe is right. I've seen you, so. Quid pro quo. Oh, is that like your old sorority or something? You guys are dumb. No, it means something for something. I've seen you nude, given our unique circumstances. It's only fair that you saw also saw me. That said, we're even now. So, how can I help you? Just exploring the place. And wow, your room has a great feel. The lighting really sets the mood. Oh yeah, Zoe said you forgot this. Yes, that's my... Thank you. <laughs> What is it? Nothing. All right, so what does she have here at the desk? Uh, statue of something. Lawyer, huh? You make a fine detective. Hey, just making a conversation. And I was joking. I wonder if you're as dry as your humor. That statue has circulated with my family for years. My family tree is full of lawyers. I'll be the 13th Zimmerman to be a lawyer once I've passed the bar exam. Lucky you. I'd like to think so too. And this is something you want? You don't have the cliche firm father who demands for his daughter to be the greatest lawyer? Her mother in my case. My father's an architect. But no, my career choice is something I'm pursuing on my own volition. Due to my condition, it's difficult to seek excitement outdoors. Fortunately for me, most of my work and excitement occurs in sheltered places. I don't see any hearings occurring outdoors in the foreseeable future. Unless civilization collapses. Unless civilization collapses. But I genuinely feel a rush, seeing a good lawyer debating their case. Expertly weaving the sequence of facts and statements as they cornered the witness in verbal submission. She seems turned on by this. So you're working to become like a defense attorney? Corporate, actually. 
The former president of this sorority now runs her own company. It's an intricate web of legal matters to start and upkeep her own business. I hope to build a portfolio of successful businesses to consult legal matters with once I've completed my studies. Pretty impressive stuff, Zelda. Thank you, Aiden. Um, let's go back. I could talk to her. She seems kind of boring at the moment. Let's move on. Uh, floor two. We got the lounge, the dorm room, and Destiny's room. Let's check out the lounge first. So let's see. We got cat tree. Oh, pretty kitty. Oh shit. Sorry, little guy. You're sleeping. Or dead? Should I pet him? Now we'll just leave him be. Maybe not. Last thing I need right now is to piss, off, piss this thing off and have it clawing. Yeah, let's ignore that. Uh, I don't see anything else at the moment. Let's continue. So let's go to the dorm room. Hello? Should I go in? Sure! Nope, it's also locked. Alright, next. Destiny's room. Hello? Sure. And it's also locked, so let's go to the first floor. A pool, kitchen, living room, entrance, and shower room. So start at the top. These girls really like their pools and jacuzzis. Looks like there's someone relaxing over there in the jacuzzi. Is that all we got in here? Hello. Hey, not disturbing you, am I? Hey, you. Not at all. I'm Destiny. Yeah, one thing I guess said, the water and sweat and stuff looks awful in this game. <laughs> it looks terrible. They look like they're just, like, made of water. Hey, Destiny. I'm Aiden. I couldn't help but notice, you girls really love water. The massive pool outside, jacuzzi upstairs, the pool down here, not to mention the beach just outside. <laughs> yeah, we got our bases covered. One's for our massive parties, summertime, go to the beach. Oh no, winter's coming. Good thing we have our indoor pool that can be heated. Care to join me? No thanks, unless you don't mind me sitting next to you naked. <laughs> Maybe next time then. So it's just you tonight? Yeah. Dom and Anna won't officially live here until after their welcome party this weekend, so just me until then. Though, I'm real glad Jennifer is gone for good. Since we've got new first years, they moved me into my own room. I've only met that girl for like five minutes and I'm already traumatized. Imagine living with her for almost a year. <laughs> Shit. You seem cool, though. I hope we see more of you. Yeah, me too, Destiny. All right, I'll leave you to it. See you around, Eden. She seems nice. Let's keep going. Let's go to the kitchen. Uh, anything interesting in here? I don't see anything to do here. Let's move on to the living room. Uh, anything here? Nothing to do here. I'm sure this these places will have stuff to do later. Okay, entrance, so we'll stay longer. It's okay, we'll do that last. Shower room. Wow, even their bathroom is luxurious. Little ladies, care to join me for a shower? <laughs> Keep dreaming. Alright, anything to do here? There's nothing here. So, let's go to the basement. Oh, basement's just one room. Mm -mm. There she is. She passed out? Hey, Pidge. I swear, I left it on your desk this morning. Oh, it's you. Oh, <laughs> you, that monster between your legs. Thank you, monster. You saved us from a very horrible person. <laughs> Paige, how much did you drink? Yes. Good answer. Are you? Join me on the couch. We need to chat. Oops, can't forget you. Maybe we should leave. Maybe we should leave this here. Over my dead body. All right, you win. So first off, the power vested on me. In me. Around me. She didn't even drink past the neck of that vodka bottle, and she's already plastered. Whatever. I, Paige Fox, hereby officially and ceremon... Sarah... That word. Make you... My bitch. 
<laughs> I'm joking. Make you an official or honorary? I may be drunk, but I ain't no hussy. Anyways, let's celebrate with drinks. Hey, Pidge, I don't drink anymore. And maybe you should call it a night on the drinking. So, what did you do? Kill someone? No. I just did something really, really stupid the last time I was drunk. Don't we all, when we're drunk? End of the point. <sighs> Sorry, I'm usually like, well within my drinking limits. I'm probably annoying as shit right now. But tonight, I'm making an exception because it's a victory for me. For the sorority. Thanks to you. And this guy, of course. Why not just say no or make up an impossible challenge? Cuz that girl's mom is the dean of our college. The last thing you need is for her to make our college life harder. Like, yes, she isn't as big a bitch as her daughter, so she gave us an out if we made the challenge a fair one. So we thought, hey, Jen loves to suck. Let's try beating her at her own game. Then, then we could say, hey, we chose a, ch chose a challenge that Jen should have won easily. Also, we couldn't make it impossible because that would have been super unfair for Dom and Nana. <sighs> Snore. <gasps> Skinny, vanilla frap, triple shot. Hot or iced? Uh, I'm so sorry, Aiden. I really shouldn't have a drink before seeing you. I just really need to get the edge off. It's fine, but I should be going now. It's almost 10 and I have an interview tomorrow. Shit, I forgot about that. Let's do this right. Where did I leave my phone? Hey Kira, you around? How am I assist? Shh. That bitch is always listening. <laughs> wow. Kira, can you, um, uh, uh, Kira, can you set up brunch date with my new pal Aiden here at 11 a.m. this Tuesday. Brunch with Aiden at 11 a.m. this coming Tuesday has been scheduled. I'm sorry, Aiden. I shouldn't have drank. By the way, want to have brunch with me this Tuesday? <laughs> sure. Hey, Kira. I need you to say... Uh... Hey, Paige. Let's get you to your room. I think you should sleep this off. Yeah, maybe you're right. Mind carrying me four flights of stairs to my room, please? Sure. All right, I'm heading out now. Mmm, thank you, Aiden. Stupid, itchy suit. Maybe we should help her change into something else. Sure, let's help her. All right, Paige, I'm going to help you change into something else, okay? I don't care. Just get me out of this. Paige? Uh, taking her pants off now, okay? Okay. Nobody walk in, please, nobody walk in. All right, I'm just gonna grab some PJs and I'm out of here. Shirt first. All right, almost there. That's all set. Mm, thanks, Aiden. Sure. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so we're gonna head out uh, in, there was what, floor one? Entrance. Let's leave. I haven't met all the girls yet. There's still Zelda. Just a quick hello before heading out. Oh, really? All right, let's go do that real quick. Uh, Zelda. I met Zelda. I didn't actually talk to her though. Okay. Hey, Zelda. Good evening, Aiden. I apologize if I came off as impertinent earlier. Apologize. Oh, good. I'm the one who should be sorry. I should have gone out as soon as I, you said something. So again, I'm sorry about that. Very well. Apology accepted. So, how can I help you? <clears throat> uh, Your hair? Is that your natural hair color? It is. I have albinism. But you have brown eyes? It's not uncommon for albin albinos to have brown eyes. However, my eyebrows are dyed. My eyes just used to be a mix of brown and white. They got darker with age, though. 
Compliments. Well, I think your skin and hair are very beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate your compliment. Okay, that's it. Bye. You're boring. <laughs> Bye, Zelda. Until next time. All right, now we can leave. The entrance. Let's leave. And with that is where we're going to end it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And tell me in the comments below which lady so far is your favorite. And we'll see you all in the next one.